I believe that art is important in addressing climate crisis because artists have this power to make people experience things differently, make dry data into something more emotional and visible. And uh, we also highlight certain practices that already change the world for better. My main tools are film and photography. I explore entanglements of nature, technology and society, the politics of uh, our relationship with the environment. The project I'm developing for the residency is a film in conversation with uh, my documentary exploration project about me and my grandmother. We love each other a lot and we have strong spiritual bond, but still we have some verbal clashes about political views, about some views on society, on life. I decided to try to overcome this distance by engaging in the practice we both enjoy in gardening. But when the war started, both for myself and for my granny, this practice became something completely different from what it used to be before. And then uh, the residency gave me a totally new perspective on this practice of gardening. And I would like to show what is the role of gardening in times of crisis immediate crisis as war or COVID pandemic, but also long-term crisis as climate change. This practice survived through such a long historical period. I was wondering what exactly fuels it, and I came to this concept of traditional ecological knowledge, their spiritual bond with their environment. I compare traditional ecological knowledge to uh, compost, to humus, because I believe that these embodied experiences that people had with land are layering on top of each other, influenced by historical events that are happening. And it's interesting to see how this collective body of knowledge has been formed. During the residency, when I visited community gardens here in Newcastle, Scottswood Garden, Wild Roots Garden, Comfrey Project, I noticed that many of these initiatives appeared on post-industrial spaces. And it's interesting how people uh, grow new life there. Many things reminded me of this mythological nature. I researched Hadrian's Wall and I discovered the concept of genius Loki a protective spirit of the place. It was interesting for me to see the connection between this protective spirit and local ecological knowledge, how they work together. And genius Loki in traditional Roman mythology usually appeared in the form of a snake, another very powerful symbol of regeneration of life. And when I came to the UK, it was interesting for me to see a bit of a difference is how people relate to their environment, because I feel that in Ukraine people still practice it. Indeed, it's very practical, whether in the UK it's more mythical. People maybe were torn apart from their land and now they realize that something is not right with it and they're coming back. It's very interesting to see how this practice that sometimes considered to be subsidiary or quiet is now becoming more and more loud. This conversation is important because it's nice to see what uh, British people can learn from uh, Ukrainians and vice versa.